Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Richie Analog, back again to bring you another reaction, this time watching The Walking Dead Season 6, Episode 11, called Knots Untied. Let's check it out. So Michonne and Rick, they hooked up, and at the last, at the last scene, Jesus comes into the door, um, and Rick and Michonne both get up in a hurry. From episode 9 to episode 10, there was two months uh, gap between episodes. I wonder how long the gap is between the last episode and this episode. You're an idiot. Really? Wow, so Sasha's probably falling for Abraham, and Abraham is starting to have thoughts of Sasha. Sasha doesn't want to have a part of that. Besides the fact that, that Abraham and Rosita are together. Catch. Weird. I guess we're going to have little love triangles and love drama hey. throughout the next couple episodes. Hey. Now, I guess it's, it's, it's just showing, you know, so far. Uh, just the way that they're living now and... The fact that they're all trying to just continue on in this world. My community needs things, and both of you look like trouble. <laughs> they do look like trouble. They're good people, and this is a good place. Your world's about to get a whole lot bigger. Wow. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh wow, so there's a bunch of other tr settlements and, and they all trade with each other and Jesus is just trying to extend a, a, a lending hand to these guys, to our survivors, but I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, you know, it's it's been a long road with these, uh, with this group and, and, and they just don't trust anyone. With a messed up face, probably wouldn't be the best first impression anyway. Wow. Carl's changed. Wow, they're bringing everyone. The whole, like, the whole main crew is going. The team. <laughs> oh boy. That's intense to have everyone in one spot at the same time. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. I guess they're going to Jesus' uh, settlement first. I'll ask you a question. Sure. We're gonna get a lot of people introduced to us now. Oh boy. I hate when people get looked at like that. We gotta crash your head. Like just oh boy. It's one of Jesus' uh, people, I guess. A lot of people going in there. So we got we got an episode with all of the main crew together in one spot doing what they do the best and <laughs> I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't freaking out right now. found some of the survivors oh man so they got out and they got everybody for a second back there just when I thought he was gonna Abraham was about to kill that guy <laughs> oh boy there's a there's a lot of things going on here. Of course there would be. This Walking Dead will need you to as stressed as you can be. Well, that's the hilltop. A new community. Too many main people there. <laughs> freaking me out. Just a little. Open the gates, Cal. 
Well, Jesus is starting to become uh, a good character. I, I hope, I hope that he's good and like he's trustworthy because it seems to me like this community here could help our survivors really get into this new world and, and kind of let go a little bit of the savage <laughs> ways that they have right now. Hey, you have to understand it. Come see me whenever. But Over at the same time, okay. you gotta keep your loved ones close to you. It's a dangerous, really dangerous world. Jesus, you're back. Wow. With guests. Everyone. Wow, that's a big actor. Gregory. He keeps the trains running on time around here. I'm the boss. Mom, Rick, we have a community. Why don't you all go get cleaned up? You clean up first. You talk to him. Why? I shouldn't. Then you gotta start doing these things. Is it? Maggie's the Maggie's the one that has to talk to people because it is true. Rick will kill somebody for talking over him the way that that guy Gregory just did. <laughs> Shoot him in the face. Our communities can help each other. Thank you, Natalie. Get a good talk. <laughs> we can help each other. We're doing fine. Are you? That guy's a douchebag. We want to generate trade. Gregory does. But ammo isn't something we urgently need. Sir I'm gonna put this on pause really quick and just uh just talk about what's going on right now. So um so Gregory is the leader of the hilltop uh town where Jesus is from. Jesus is a scout that went out just like Daryl does um, to look for people or food or supplies anything um, he came across our survivors and now he brought our survivors over to his camp and to possibly trade um, they don't ha the hilltop doesn't have any ammunition Rick and our survivors do but they don't but we don't have any food so simply they're trying to trade and everything and gregory's a little bit of a douchebag and doesn't want to really trade he wants instead to have people work for uh the supplies at his town and he's a bit he's uh coming on a bit to 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 maggie so we'll see how that plays out now return to us oh boy i deliver a message to you negan so tell me Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Abraham, get up. Get up. That's it. Wow. Wow. Rick just like slashed his face in. Like just slashed his throat. Disgusting. Nasty. We've done enough. Wow, this just got really nuts. You need to know that things aren't as simple as they might seem. Jesus is the voice of reason. But it's also... Get up, Abraham. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Wow, I need a second to think about this. This was this was intense. This was intense. Okay, so a group from the hilltop arrived while Rick and the group were in the main building and they all walk out and there's three people that come in and they look like they've been through hell and then one of the guys that come through the gate say that Negan has his brother um, at which point all hell breaks loose the guy stabs Gregory the leader of this town and 
Rick uh, handles that really quick. Daryl breaks the guy's arm, and all hell just broke loose. Jesus tries to break up the fight, and now everyone has just kind of walked away from each other. Um, wow. We're getting all the crazy signs of Negan coming now. Confrontation's never been something we've had trouble with. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll take it to Gregory. So we just got info about Negan, and supposedly Negan is the leader of a group called the Saviors. They came to the hilltop and made a deal with Gregory. Half of everything they have, their supplies, their weapons, their food, their armor, everything. So pretty much the supplies were kind of low, and Negan's group retaliated and captures a guy right now they need Rick and our group to go back over there and set some new terms and as Rick said they've never had any trouble with confrontation but I'm really worried about this because everyone that's here from our group is a main character and a lot of these people are fan favorites it's really, really strange that everyone is there at the same time. I am not even kidding about that. The group that's on screen right now, these these people that are together right now are the core. They're the fighters, they're the protectors. They're the ones that get everything done. I was going to say something else, but I'm trying to keep this clean. Walking Dead is dirty enough as it is, but I'm trying to keep this clean. Let's continue. We only have a couple more minutes. Oh you up for this? Man. It's gonna be a fight. We'll win. We have to. We'll win. Rick and Michonne. <laughs> they have to win. Wow. Let and Maggie get to see their baby on an ultrasound in a post-apocalyptic world. <laughs> All looking at their baby. It's just a little tiny bit of life right there. Coming out of so much death. It was really cool to see that. Yes, a little bit of a filler episode, but really... Did I mind it? No. I like the fact that we get to see, you know, interactions between the, the survivors and everything. Really because after all these years and after all they've been through, they really have become a family. And every time we lose someone uh, in that family, it's really sad. So um, I like watching these episodes like this because you get a little sense of camaraderie and of... Uh, you know a family and just togetherness I, I really I really like that I really like that this episode was a little slow a couple really crazy scenes with Rick uh, killing that guy uh, that came from the Savior's camp Maggie at the end standing up and just you know making a deal with Gregory and really going listen <laughs> we want half of what you have and we'll protect this place and we'll take care of that other group for you, but half is what we need. And Gregory said, yeah, and Deanna was right. Maggie is a strong leader type, and she could be the politician. She could be the actual president, the one that gets everything through to other people because Rick can't do that. Rick can't not... He can't, he can't. He'll just, he'll stab you in the neck, man. He'll just stab you in the neck. <laughs> but um, I'm going to watch uh, Talking Dead now and see what they say. And I'm just going to keep on recording and keep on vlogging this and stuff like that. So I can see what else is going on.